Thank you for joining me today for a few moments with our Good Shepherd. Have you ever watched a newscast and they were talking about a crime so horrific, so horrible, that you felt your blood starting to boil and that anger welling up inside of you? For many people, when they hear about those kinds of reports, it raises a few questions in their minds. Where's God? Why didn't he do something to stop it? Why doesn't he stamp out this kind of evil? Well, we have to be a little careful with that kind of thinking. Because if we think or ask God to stamp out evil, what's that going to do for the human race? See, God's standard of evil is much higher than our standard. Where the world sees murder as horrible, God sees the th bad thoughts, the hatred in people's hearts. Where we see the exploitation of the poor as evil, God sees the stinginess and selfishness inside each of us. And where we may want to pick up our picket signs and go out and protest the power grabbing uh, that goes on, God sees the manipulation that goes on in our own lives. And let's be honest, we do know the buttons to push on people to get them to do or think the way we do. Rather than criticizing God, we need to thank God for his patience. Our reading today is from the book of Romans and chapter 3, verse 25. God publicly displayed Jesus as the atonement seat through faith in his blood. God did this to demonstrate his justice, since in his divine restraint he had left the sins that were committed earlier unpunished. See, God didn't carry out his full punishment against evil right away in the Garden of Eden. He didn't carry it out fully even in Noah's flood. He didn't carry it out fully until the time of Jesus, when he nailed Jesus to a cross, carrying the full weight of the world's evil and being in line of the full justice and anger of God against that evil. So God did do something. He paid for the evil in the world with his own precious blood and innocent suffering and death. And God has done something else, too. He's given us a conscience to know right and wrong, to know good and evil. He, gave, he nourishes that conscience through his word and sacraments. He gives us the, the uh, uh, prayer where we can go to him asking him to intervene in this world to preserve and protect the innocent. And he's also given us the faith to do something about it in our own communities. We are his hands, his eyes, his heart, his voice to the world around us. And so, yes, God has done something about the evil in this world. He's given us his only son to pay for it. He's given us to be the salt and light of this world. We thank God that he has done something for the evil around us. We pray. Dear God, thank you for showing us your patience and not giving us what our sins deserve. Help me be your heart, your eyes, your voice, your hands to my community to prevent that evil from spreading and hurting others. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, may God bless.